Hey, what's going on guys, it's Jordan. In this episode, I wanna talk about my top five beginner surf fishing mistakes. And this is coming from personal experience from, you guessed it, a beginner. I recently went out on my first solo surf fishing mission and it went about as good as it could have, well, it didn't go that great, let's just be honest. So I decided to make this video for you guys. Before we get going too far though, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that subscribe button for me. It'd really, really help the channel if you could hit the notification bell too so you stay up to date whenever I release anything new. Comment of the day is coming up below now. Be sure you guys leave a comment down below for your chance to be on screen. And let's roll that beautiful bean, what, oh, that's copyrighted. Let's roll that footage. Oh, are we on? Oh, we're on. Here we go. First fish of the day. Yep, first fish of the day. Here we go. Halibut. Halibut. Popped off. Ah. Oh no! Where'd he go? Well, we got the coffee back. You know, it's really hard to say where to start with this one. I feel like there was about a hundred different things that I screwed up, but I would say one of the biggest things I learned in this moment was that I need some sort of towel to lay my rod down on the sand, or I need a backpack with a rod holder, or I need a rod holder to put into the sand. I need something to do with my rod when I catch a fish because I was totally thrown off guard, but there really was just a general overall sense of being unprepared for what to do if I did catch that fish. Oh man, we got that halibut. I threw my rod in the sand like an idiot. So I jumped back over to get that and then, man, I messed that up. But, all right, first halibut of the day. That's good, let's get, uh, let's get this going some more. So mistake number two was one that I didn't really think about in the moment, but now that I know, it seems glaringly obvious. Oh, I see something right there. I see one right there. I don't know what that was, but it looked decent. Yeah, mistake number two, scaring the fish on the approach, approaching like a Sasquatch. Now that I think about it, I really was just screaming through that water, not paying any attention to any fish that might be in the shallow water. Super stupid. I walked right up on one, scared it away. You guys could see it swim off. And uh, the lesson learned here for me was approach the water slowly. Don't run up to it, approach it slowly, maybe cast from, from a little further back and fish that shallower water because there was clearly fish there and I missed it because I just wanted to rush in there like a Sasquatch. That was a big one. We got water all on the uh, wetsuit on that one. That's not good. Yep, you can definitely feel water running down my foot. Oh my God. I need a wetsuit. Mistake number three, wearing cotton. Like, like a lot of cotton. I had a cotton hoodie on, a cotton long sleeve shirt under the hoodie, cotton underwear, cotton jeans, cotton socks, under my waders that um, I did not tighten enough, and I guess I don't even really know how to secure enough. So water was splashing in, it went down, and I was super wet and damp for the rest of the day, and it was not comfortable at all. So I think some sort of um, wet suit, Farmer John situation, might be what I go with after this experience of uh, kind of walking in a bathtub of wader water. Part of me can't believe I lost that fish, but then if you watch my channel, you know you should have probably expected I would have lost that fish. So anyways, we're gonna move down, see what we can get. We're gonna stay on the hydro minnow and uh, try to do better than we did that time. So mistake number four became pretty obvious to me pretty much the second I set my stuff down in the sand. I had too much stuff. I had an extra bag, I had the backpack. Um, I need to condense everything to as, to as little as possible, to be as mobile as possible, to have to set as little as possible in the sand, which is what I was doing. And it was just making everything more sandy and messy than it needed to be. If I were to go out next time, I would have a single backpack with only what I really truly know I'm gonna use. And that brings us to mistake number five. I just haven't been surf fishing. I spend a lot of time uh, kayak fishing and fishing with other people and on boats and stuff. And I just don't surf fish a lot. 
and that's my own fault. And that's something I wanna start doing more because it's super fun. I live 45 minutes from the beach. I have no excuse not to be surf fishing. Can't get better if you're not out there fishing. So, well guys, those are my top five mistakes I made out there learning to surf fish on my own. I hope this video helps you guys. I hope it saves you a little bit of time and frustration out there as you learn to surf fish. Leave a comment below, give me your tips, give me your mistakes, let me know what you've had to learn the hard way. And uh, maybe you can help everybody in the comment section save a little bit of time and frustration. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button for me if you enjoyed this content. It would mean a lot to the channel. If you would like to support Dudefish TV, you can support on my Patreon page for as little as $5 a month. That's like the most rad, awesome way to support the channel. It's super, super helpful. It's directly to me, the creator, and it's just, it's a great way to support the channel. And as a uh, gift to, to patrons and to future filmmakers who wanna make content like this, I've started a filmmaker series that I've uh, started putting on my Patreon page to ac accessible to any patron. So for as little as $5 a month, you can have access to the filmmaker series, uh, which will get you out there learning to uh, really edit better. It's, it's a lot of post-production, tutorials, tips, tricks, techniques, camera settings, it basically taking the last 13 years of my professional experience as a, as a cinematographer and a video editor and condensing it into this filmmaker series that is a gift to my patrons uh, and a thank you for supporting the channel and giving me a place to where I can do something I love, be with my family more, be with my kids more, provide content to you guys that makes me happy and I hope makes you guys happy and that you enjoy. Don't stop here, there's a full playlist of Whatever Bites and some other Dudefish TV content you can start watching right now. Click any box on the screen, but specifically, click this box right here, check this video out. This is one you're gonna not gonna wanna miss. We went out to San Clemente Island and absolutely killed it on the Calico, some yellowtails on the boat. This episode right here is dope. Click this one, watch this one, I'll see it next. I'll see you next, see you later.